Thanks for checking out my first unboxing video. Uh, normally, my channel, I just do craft beer reviews, and uh, I'm going to switch it up a little bit because this is something I'm also interested in. want to see if there's any other interest out there for me doing these types of things. Um, I just decided to start getting, as you see, Horror Block, uh, and I will also be getting one other um, subscription box uh, soon called the BAM Box, which I hear is pretty good. But these videos are a lot of fun, um, just unboxing things. Uh, this one is not the normal horror block. This is actually a precursor to it, which is called a grab block, which is kind of where it has items from past uh, subscription boxes for whatever you got, in this case, horror block. And so you can see what you're going to be getting. So this isn't my first like normal one. This is just the grab block, which is less expensive than the typical. Now, the typical horror block without shipping and handling is like 20 bucks. This grab block is just like 10 bucks. So I figured, eh, 10 bucks, you know, let's just give it a shot. So I then, the day it was supposed to show up, started thinking, oh wait, are these grab blocks just the things that they couldn't get rid of, the things that kind of suck? <laughs> and so I started thinking about that and I was just like, I don't know. Now, full disclosure, I did um, already open this up because I didn't know if I was gonna do a video or not. So my reaction won't be normally what it would be if I, you know, was opening it for, for, for the first time, but all the other videos from here on out will be me reacting for the first time, opening it up for the first time. So let's go over this, see how it goes, and you can, you know, leave some comments and stuff and let me know how it is. And you can also email me. Uh, my email's um, brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com and brutal spelled B-R-E-W-T-A-L. So anyway, uh, let's tr open this up and I'll show you what's in there. Put it over to the side a little bit. So, the first thing we have in here is a horror block exclusive, and it's a finger. It's a severed zombie finger, and it's a. Uh, I mean, it's for it's a wine stopper. To be honest, I think it looks cool. I think it's interesting. I don't know if this is. Let me look at it. Is it? It's plastic. So, uh, so it's not like high end or anything like that I'm taking it there's no cork at the bottom it's just plastic that's big enough to fit in there um, but it's plastic I mean it looks cool um, it's you know something to put in maybe an empty bottle of wine I wouldn't actually use this for like trying to keep bottles of wine that you didn't finish for that I'd actually recommend an actual vacuum uh, they have these things called wine vacuums where you can suck out the air because oxygen will really screw up wine uh, if you you know, don't suck the air out of it when you're not drinking it. So these things actually don't work well for, for preserving wine, but they do work well for just decoration in like a empty bottle, which that's probably what I would use this for. But it's actually kind of cool, um, kind of like it. And my wife likes it, she thinks it's kind of fun. So that's, that's good. Um, let me just put this to the side. The finger. The next thing is a springs for the twilight zone um this is not exclusive but uh it is stupid is basically what it is this thing looks like garbage uh it's a throwaway item and i'll show you it's just a you know it's a spring thing and i don't know if anyone actually recognizes that from the twilight zone or anything i haven't seen much twilight zone so i don't but um i just think it's cheap and kind of dumb and generic looking um throwaway item so but it is twilight zone it says so on the box so whatever put this over here on display for all of you whatever I'm not closing it all the way so there's the springs then there's this hideous piece of garbage uh <laughs> baby eat you alive okay it is just a severed severed doll's head it has no other function it does nothing else except be a creepy looking severed baby's head that looks like it's staring past your soul into your soul past your soul <laughs> it's bad who wants this thing actually i'm not even going to take it out of the box because it's pointless but why why would you give anyone this i'd rather actually just have one less item in the box to be honest actually the same thing with the springs i'd rather just have one less item in the box save the crap i don't want extra crap around my house uh and in this case this in particular 
Like, maybe some people will like this, but this, god damn, nobody is going to be okay with this. Maybe, like, 5 to 10% of people who get this, who get this block will actually be okay with this. But, I don't know. Anyway, horrible gift. Why would you put that in there? Anyway. Um, we have a, a Walking Dead uh, mini building set. So it looks like actually what it is is uh, there's three different variations of this. Um, it's like a build your own little character thing. I actually... Full disclosure, don't walk, uh, watch The Walking Dead. I'm sorry, I know a lot of people are probably pretty appalled right now, being someone who is into horror quite a bit. I watched the first season and then missed the finale when it was on TV, and then I went back to watch it on demand, and it just so happened to not be available when I went, got back to it, and then I just didn't pick it back up. Plus, I've read some of the comics, a bunch of the comics, and I was just like, I already know what Walking Dead is. I will go to it one day, though. Check it out. So, because I've heard so many great things, and people are genuinely appalled when I tell them I'm a horror fan and I haven't seen it. Let's see what this is specifically. I'm probably not going to keep this because I'm not all that into The Walking Dead at the moment, or maybe I'll keep it for if I become more interested in it. Uh, might give it to my sister though, Callie, because she's a big fan of The Walking Dead. So, um, yeah. So it looks like what I got is like a. Mercenary zombie? It's just like all the parts, as you can see, and you just kind of like, you know, you put them together. And it makes just like a little figure, probably about like that big. Like, not very big, but kind of interesting, kind of neat. Uh, and the mystery aspect of you don't know which one you're going to get out of here is really fun, I think. So these kind of things are cool with me. I like it. I think it's cool. So just throw that there. Uh, then there's t shirt. Um, I love t-shirts, especially horror-related t-shirts. This one in particular, I want to make sure everyone can see it. Okay, it is, let me get as close to you as possible. Okay, so basically what this looks like, I, I'll say off the bat I like it. It's, um, it looks like a bunch of characters uh, from horror films, and that's what I thought when I first unboxed it. And then I looked at it a little bit harder, and it looks like it's only from uh, Wes Craven films. So I was like, oh, that's even better, that's way cooler, because I'm assuming this was an homage to Wes Craven from when he passed away earlier this year. Um, R.I.P. Wes Craven, that was a huge loss for the horror community. So uh, really cool to see them do this, because, you know, it's paying homage to a great horror filmmaker. So you see, like, Ghostface on there from Scream. You see, you know, Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street. You're seeing... Uh, the one of the inbred dudes from the original Hills Have Eyes. Sorry, I haven't actually seen it. <laughs> um, and I believe you're seeing the the main villain from the movie Shocker. I don't know all of what these are. Uh, two of the guys I don't really recognize, but I'm assuming the coffin has to do with uh, the film The Serpent and the Rainbow that have Bill Pullman in it about you know voodoo zombieism, all that stuff. But this is a cool shirt. This is a really cool shirt. This is probably. The most exciting, no, it's definitely the most exciting item in the box, and I like that quite a bit. So awesome. And then the last, like, actual item that's in here, which your money goes toward, is a magazine, and it is Rue Morgue Magazine. This is the April issue. Uh, full disclosure, I am a subscriber to Rue Morgue Magazine. I've subscribed to it for about eight years now, so obviously I'm a massive fan of this magazine. Uh, I think it's awesome that they're putting it in the block, but this is what kind of kept me from uh, getting the block for quite some time now. I had interest in it, but I was like, there's Room Org Magazine in it, and that's part of what you're paying for, and I already get it. What am I going to do with a second one each month? Um, but I can just give it to people because I like to share, I figured out, and you know, spread the horror love. It, it's an amazing magazine. Um, in my opinion, the best horror magazine out there. Anyone who reads like Fangoria, if you haven't read this, you need to read this because you'll upgrade. Uh, Fangoria actually is not good at all compared to Rue Morgue. Love it. And then they give you, you know, a few small things in here, just like a little promo card about their blocks, um, about like grab block, which is what this was. And then they kind of give you a rundown on like what it features, some of their other ones. You know, stuff like that. Uh, there's a $10 credit that you can redeem um, at nerdblock.com if you want to purchase something else. 
that's fine. That's cool. I like that. Um, and then there's something for a $10, $10 credit for Shirt Punch, which is there. I'm going to cover the code because I might use it, but <laughs> if you can see it that way. For Shirt Punch, um, for a, uh, it said a new card delivered monthly, collect the set to receive $100 Shirt Punch gift card. So that's cool, but this is a $10 credit, which, I mean, it's good to give credit like that. I like it. And then here's a promo for Sling TV, which is just that. It's a promo. I mean, I can't fault them for putting it in because, you know, I'm sure they're getting paid to put the ad in there. That's fine. Whatever. I, I don't mind. I can just recycle it, which I will just recycle it. Um, so anyway, overall, this box, you, you know, it's a grab grab block. I would, I'm going to be more excited to see what my normal horror block has in it. Um, and like I said before, it'll be first time I'm seeing it while I do this video. But what do I like? I like the finger. I think it's fun. Not really, it's not actually functional, but it's fun for decoration. Uh, the springs, terrible. The baby head, even more terrible. Just like totally awful. They shouldn't put stuff like that in. No one likes it. Okay. Uh, the Walking Dead build, build a little dude. Um, actually pretty cool. I like the mystery aspect of you don't know which one you're going to get. It's fun. Um, plus, if it's something people don't like, it's just so small that it's not like crap cluttering up your house necessarily. And Rue Morgue, obviously love it. Obviously t-shirt, love it, love it, love it. As far as the value overall though, um, this was like $10. Uh, Rue Morgue magazine, if I were to try and go buy it on the stand at Barnes & Noble near me, it's $10 without tax. So it's going to be over the price of the actual box. So that's great. Uh, the t-shirt, I can't tell you the last time I've purchased a t-shirt that wasn't $10 or more. So that's basically the price of the block as well. And then these things, you know, I'm assuming this little finger thing might be about maybe as much as 5 bucks somewhere, probably a little bit less. Uh, the spring thing, I don't even know, it's a zero value to me. Uh, probably no one buys it. Um, it's definitely the same thing for the head. This is probably worth negative money because they have to pay people to take it is, is my guess. And then these little mini things, they're probably like, you know, a dollar, two dollars, something like that. But when you think about it in that, in, the, in those terms, if you get one thing out of here that's kind of the value of either the magazine or the shirt, then your money was worth it. So it was worth it. It was cool. I just don't like that. I got a few things that I won't do anything with. But uh, I'm very excited for my first actual horror block, and I'm also excited for when I do a video for the uh, BAM box. And we'll see how that goes, but please give me some uh, feedback on the videos. You don't have to necessarily for this one, but other ones you can. But email me, uh, brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com, or leave comments on the video, and you can do that. Anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out, and I'll just do the way I usually do it on my podcast, my beer podcast. I'll just say, keep it brutal.